Welcome, Pisces. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I'm here to do you guys February monthly reading, okay? Monthly energy read. So let's dive right into it, Pisces. If you have Pisces sun, moon, or rising, you can use this video. It'll be helpful for you. Also, guys, check out your moon signs, your rising signs. You may get messages from those videos as well. All right, so let's see what message we have for the Pisces for the month of February. Oh, the magician wanted to poke out. So now they're manifesting. Okay, let's see what's going on. What about the Pisces? What's going on for the Pisces in the month of February, please? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have temperance, okay? So some of you could be um, healing from something. You could be trying to balance a situation out. The two of pentacles is right behind that. So you may have a decision that you need to make, or you're finally making a decision possibly to end something here. Um, something that's been holding you up. Something that's been... Um, causing some type of delay okay of some sort all right so let's see what's going on queen of cups coming out strong all right so this is you guys' energy some of you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio um and the ten of pentacles okay the two of cups. Pisces, what's going on? Ace of wands. What's going on, Pisces? Ten of wands. Queen of swords. All right. So, Pisces, it definitely looks like Okay, your intuition, you're listening to your intuition. Some of y'all may be having very vivid dreams. I'm seeing that as well, too. Um, That two of cups up there and this ten of pentacles and this ace of wands. I want to see what this is about. You could be getting close to someone. Why is the two of cups here? The Three of Swords. King of Swords right here and a Knight of Cups. The Page of Swords. I feel like some type of truth. I feel like you're getting ready to realize the truth about something. I feel like some truth is getting ready to come to the forefront. But I think this is something that you already felt. You already felt this. You already knew this. You saw this coming towards you. Why is the three of swords again? The nine of wands. So I'm sensing that there was a breakup, okay? And there definitely was an ending, okay? That chapter has closed. Now, somebody here is coming out to speak their truth, okay? Now, we got the ace of swords. This is gaining clarity, the truth about a situation. This could be someone that you were dealing with. This person could have been extremely toxic. This person could have been extremely toxic. Um, the situation was toxic. Um, there was addictions, codependency issues. There could have even been like someone could have had like a habit. Um, or this could just be a Capricorn. Some of you, um, a Capricorn is coming out and speaking their truth, okay? For the first time. For the first time in a while. I don't feel like you guys have been in communication. Like, y'all haven't been on the best of terms. Um, but I see some, I see um, a communication. And it could be in regards to a breakup, Okay. Ooh, 
This is something that you could been you could have been waiting on. You could have been waiting to, to get this communication from this person, waiting to hear their side of the story. You've been waiting for this information to get out. Yes, the Queen of Wands flipped over. Okay, so this could be a Pisces. No, I'm sorry, a Leo Sagittarius Aries. But the Queen of Wands gives me, um, it depends on what type of reading, the type of energy that comes out. The Queen of Wands and a Three of Swords and, you know, that type of energy. This could symbolize a third party. Okay, so you could have been waiting to take action um, on this situation as well because the Queen of Wands is very active, a very go-getter type of energy. I feel like you was hoping to get, you know, justice in this situation. You was hoping to balance this situation out. Um, I feel like you you getting ready. You're getting ready to get some type of clarity, some type of truth. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Six of Cups. Okay, so the challenge is this may be um, a connection that you want to return to. Somebody is talking about returning. Okay, I see an offer here. Um, communication coming in as well. Could be from a cancer. Some of you could be getting communication coming from a cancer. Um, and I feel like this is something that with the judgment here, it was like a decision, a final decision was made possibly in the past. But now, oh, somebody is get somebody got some, hey, 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 the start in the Six of Wands. Okay, so somebody got in getting some clout. Somebody doing something very spectacular. Okay, somebody is getting a whole lot of recognition on some star quality type of stuff going on. That could be why this person is coming back around as well. I see something started out as good friends. I see a conversation. You know, we started out as friends. Um, you know, let's let's talk this out because we we started out as good friends. I'm hearing that clearly. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, see, you started glowing up. That's what this is. You started getting money. You started putting, you jumped out your feelings and you hopped in your bag. That's what this is. Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Okay. And you've been happy. I told you, you've been manifesting the magician. You're over here manifesting the life, the good life. When I say this is the good life, magician, son, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, like you're in your bag. Okay. This person could be. This is their energy. They feel trapped, could be feeling stuck, afraid to come back around to you, afraid of what you're going to think of them. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands energy back here. Yeah, it's too many lies, too much deceit. I feel like you dropped this individual because you found out that they were a liar. You found out that they were manipulative. You found out that they were tricky. They had some tricks up their sleeve. Yeah, see, we got the Empress right here. And the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> they could have found somebody new. Okay. Um, the Empress here and the Ace of Cups. There could be someone new in the picture. This person could have, they could have looked at this person as an opportunity. Okay, with that Ace of Pentacles right there. This was an opportunity for them. Um, and they're having regrets. They're looking back with regrets. Now, the Queen of Swords is here. Switch your energy could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is a very no-nonsense energy. Four of Swords. I see you, you know, taking time off. Like, I see you being very calm and chill. But I do see either a Sagittarius or a Capricorn um, energy here. And I do see you trying to balance something out. I see you trying to balance this out. Like, you feel like you have a choice that you need to make. Okay, with the Seven of Cups and the Temperance card, there's a choice that you need to make. Whether you're going to work on a situation or not. If you're going to leave the situation out in the cold or if you're going to 
build and work with this person. Even though that this person, I feel like there was a breakup and I feel like you found out a lot about this person. But see, you don't feel, I don't, I feel like you don't feel this the same about this person because we got the king of cups, four of cups, and a ten of cups. Like that love that you used to have for this person, I don't see you having that no more. Four of cups and the ten of cups, this is not being happy, being bored with the connection, not feeling fulfilled, okay? Um, I don't feel like you feel the same about this person. I don't feel like you feel the same. I feel like this situation has burnt you out. Yeah, you don't want to take the risk. I feel like you think this would be a risk if you were to go towards this person. I feel like you don't want no drama and all the beef and uh, competition. I see with that five of wands, I see like competitive energy. I feel like you don't want to take that risk. Why is the eight of wands here? Six of swords. See, some of y'all are moving on from this situation quickly like you're getting over this situation rather quickly um i think that this actually surprised this person that you moved on so quickly but you saw it coming you saw it coming the hermit and the tower you saw you foreseen this y'all know how pisces is we intuitive okay you saw this tower approaching this relationship it can be rebuilt if you want it to be rebuilt but do you really want to i see you weighing this out and feeling like i don't think that this is a good choice you're looking you're weighing the good you're weighing the good and the bad out you're actually taking your time and weighing the good and the bad out because you feel like this person this negative person this energy i get like this person is real negative I'm just getting it. I feel like you don't want to force this because you feel like you'll regret it. Now, this person energy that you're dealing with, their energy is the Ten of Swords. This person definitely betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. There was, there was really a bad ending here. Like, it ended. And it ended pretty bad. Yep, <laughs> death and the ten of swords. Yeah, it ended, and like I said, it, it when it hit the tower, hit it hit spirit. Spirit had to step in this in this connection because the tower is here. Okay, so this ending definitely happened for a reason. Okay, like I said, this person could have found somebody new, Ace of Cups and that Empress. Okay, and it ended, and when it ended, it ended badly. It was a total ending. Like, it just ended abruptly. Like, it was just over. Yep, that was betrayal. This person betrayed you. The moon. This person had so many secrets. They was hiding so many things. This person is hoping that you can understand where they were coming from. Um, they want you to kind of, I'm getting kind of like sympathize with them, but this person is straight up betrayed you. Straight up. Yep, the devil. The devil, the moon, the, the death, and the ten of swords. This is so crazy. This person could have had you in competition with other people. Could have had you in uh, all type of stuff. Ooh, gosh. like with the emperor here and your hopes and fears could be an aries but i feel like you're hoping for more of a more mature uh energy a more uh established energy someone who's more um seasoned you know has more experience i feel like this was what you was hoping with this connection but this connection this person was is definitely not ready this person will stab you in the back like they already have i feel like they already have stabbed you in the back i feel like you was hoping for this emperor energy from this person this could be like a baby father um but or an aquarius but i feel like you didn't get that 
Yeah, see, look at this. It didn't turn out that way. Five of Pentacles and the wheel. You learned out, you found out things about this person that you never thought that you, you saw a side of this person you never thought you would have saw. Okay, it did, it did not go in your favor. It did not go well. Okay, that Five of Pentacles and that Wheel of Fortune, it did not go well. Okay, it did not. And I feel like you're very aware of it. Now, the High Priestess is here as your outcome. You knew this person was going to come around. Okay, I'm getting very much so Earth energy with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, this person trying to make it seem like... Um, like you, like they were forced to do this to betray you. They're feeling bad about it. Um, something about planning something out, but they wanted to see if they can come back around. But the thing about it is, is their energy is Knight of Wands energy. This person is still childish. They're not gonna stay. They're not gonna stay. They're not, they're a night energy. You want an emperor or an empress. I feel like you're going to be kind of surprised. But this person is coming back around. I see you trying not to argue with this person. Like trying to be cordial with this person. But at this point, it's like, I don't give a... I, <laughs> I clearly hear you saying, I don't care. I don't give a F. I don't... Look, uh-uh. You did what you did. I felt how I felt. Um... I found out the truth. I see I see you finding out the truth. The hermit and the ace of swords. You found out some type of truth. Um, maybe you got that info from friends. And I feel like with this chariot and this four of wands, someone could be moved in with someone. Um, I'm seeing that as well. I'm seeing somebody telling someone that they love them and walking away. You walked away from this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. They don't necessarily have to be an Earth sign, but they could have this Earth energy. Yeah, you're getting a, a phone call. A text message. I'm getting a text message. This person is getting ready to reach out to you. I want to tell me more about this person energy over here because that energy is so ill like that energy is so it's like snake i just hear snake see snake some of this person's energy some of this person's energy why is that energy the devil the ten of swords the moon didn't i tell you didn't i tell you i'm telling you i can't make this shit up this says the snake this person is a snake okay this person is not on your side. There's, they see you as competition. They see you as your enemy. You're their enemy. They are very clever and malicious. You will have to always look over your shoulder. And they, they're involved with another person. They're coming around for sex, okay? They're coming around for sex. They miss having sex with you. They miss um, being around you. They miss your being a, your the way you look, flirting with you, hooking up. And a love call. And I'm telling you, this person is going to tell you how, how addicted they are to you. And they feel like you'll fall for it. And then they're going to turn around and stab you in the back. Don't trust this person, Pisces. Do not trust this person. Mm-mm. Do, Do not. I'm telling you, don't trust this person. I'm telling this person, this, this gave me the snake vibes right here. And then the Ten of Swords and the Death Card, like, and the Moon. Oh, no. This person is out of the blue. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to send you a message. I 
trying to get your attention. You're trying to get your attention. This person, if they tell you um, that they're single, it's a big question mark on whether they're still single or not. It's going to be a big question mark. So this person is probably going to lie and not tell you the truth. You need to find out all the information. Um, this person is going to start some BS. They're going to stir the pot and they are going to leave. Soon as you go to asking too many questions, um, they're going to feel like you're not giving them a chance to make it right. Um, but they they aren't gonna do they aren't mm -mm, they're not gonna do it. They want your attention. They want your body. They want the hook up. They want attention from you. They want your attention. Yep. Yep. Six of Wands, lovers, and the sun. Could be a Gemini or a Leo. But baby, they're saying since you love you love attention, they want your attention. They're trying to get you to pay attention. They want you to pay attention to them. If you haven't been paying attention to them lately, it's their way of coming back around to get you focused back on them so they can stir the pot and betray you again. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, watch your back. All right? So that's what I got for Pisces. Um, if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Share with your family and your friends. And I'm going to chat with y'all on the next one. Ciao.